Okay, so let's see here. Uh, slideshow. I am going to be talking about um, the radiology residency program. I'm Dr. Wong again. So the Department of Radiology, it stretches across um, Cook County Health and Hospital systems. It includes Provident Hospital and Blue Island Clinics, as well as the CIRMAC Correctional Facility or jail. Within the Department of Radiology, there are 24 attending physicians and the vast majority are fellowship trained. So we have a list here of the um, fellowship training that the attendings have had. Now about the residency program, there are 16 residents in total. Um, you can have early specialization, it's um, IR approved. The mix of residents um, is diverse. We have people from all around the world, um, single, married, with kids. So um, Cook County Hospital is known for its diversity, and this includes the residents. And mostly you'll have one resident on each rotation, and there are no fellows, which means you will have a plenty of opportunity to read imaging and uh, perform studies. In your second year, you have a pediatric rotation at Lurie's Children's Hospital. There's a daily didactic noon uh, lecture, and there are case-based 3 p.m. conferences on Tuesday and Thursday. There are physics lectures in-house and morning readout with the chairman. The board pass rate is excellent. We've got 15 out of 16 over the last four years, which is 94% and well above the national average. In terms of a fellowship match, here listed we have um, the different residents and where they matched. So we have a great record of matching people into the fellowships that they desire. In 2020-2021, the fourth resident decided not to do um, radiology fellowship, so, and they wanted to go into private practice. That's why you don't see a fourth person there, but um, I find that fellowships really are impressed by the residents who come out of the Cook County Radiology Residency Program. In terms of the salary, it's listed here. These are um, the salaries. We have PG1 through PG1 through four. But if the resident has done um, some sort of other residency before radiology, then you would be bumped up to a higher PGY level pay because of the prior residency that would bump you up. There's also internal moonlighting, which accounts for an extra ten to $15,000 per year per resident, if you would like to do that. So in terms of internal moonlighting, the shifts are divided uh, amongst people equally, but people can trade or give away their shifts. Now, since I had two children when I was in residency, most of the time I pretty much gave away all those moonlighting shifts. And then there are people who just want to do as many as possible. So it's a nice balance and it's a great opportunity. In terms of the benefits, they're great vacation benefits. So you get to use about $19 per day in the cafeteria. You've got a thousand dollars educational stipend yearly. The AIRP tuition is covered by the medical examiner's office. You've got five days of conference um, time per year, and um, RSNA is local in Chicago, the McCormick Place, which is really nice because it's very quick to get to. Um, there are also other opportunities to interact with other residents and attendings. Um, at the Lurie Rotation, other residents from the Chicago area rotate there for the pediatrics rotation. 
You've also got the Chicago Radiological Society, which meets, I believe it's approximately five times per year for evening lectures, and that's a great way to make connections with the um, other local radiology residencies. There is also the Loyola um, Emergency Department Symposium, and um, pretty much everyone in the city sends their uh, residents prior to starting call uh, to that symposium. And you get to meet the other residents and learn about um, basically uh, common things that you see on call. In terms of the equipment, we've got three MRI units. They're all 1.5 Tesla, Toshiba and GE. We have five CT units, GE and Toshiba, all 32, 64 rows. A total of four IR suites to renew in 2017. Eight GE ultrasound units, which were new in 2018, and one Toshiba ultrasound unit. We have two fluoroscopy suites, three hologic mammography units, one with tomosynthesis, and one hologic stereotactic unit. Um, there is a centralized reading room with ergonomic desks. However, due to COVID, um, this has been spread out. We have spread people out. Um, we've pretty much transitioned to PowerScribe 360 already, and there's GE PAX and Cerner EMR. Um, this is just some imaging. Top left, we have the PAX support staff. Um, then going clockwise, we have a mammography unit, um, IR suite on the top right. And at the bottom, we have CT techs um, doing their jobs. This is the simulation lab where um, on the left image, students watching some other residents who are performing a code, um, simulating somebody who has had a anaphylactic contrast reaction. So the simulation lab is in the professional building. Um, you also have access to RAD primer, StatDX, which is basically the up-to-date of the radiology world. You also have access to the some questions, and um, you will find that a lot of these practice questions are what people use to study for the boards. Um, we've got some. We do cardiac imaging with the cardiologists. This is an MRI on the right. Um, so there aren't really turf battles. We really work well um, with the cardiologists in reading the cardiac imaging. Okay, there are advanced MRI techniques that we also um, use. You can see, for example, um, on the top row, third from the left, got CSF flow studies and they're all labeled here. Um, so pretty much advanced MR techniques, mostly neuro and body. There are a bunch of um, IR procedures that we do um, and we have a interventional radiology program so you would be exposed to many types of cases, peripheral vascular disease, trauma, and bleeding. A lot of, we see a lot of stab wounds, gunshot wounds, and other source of trauma. Um, AV fistula, intrathecal chemotherapy, neurointerventional procedures, strains, ports, catheters, biopsies, um, and you can see the rest. So um, a lot of collaboration with other residents, but mainly I would say that you have a lot of opportunity as a radiology resident because there are no fellows and not much turf battling others that you will have plenty of opportunity to do procedures. 
So um, there are research scholarly uh, um, activity opportunities. Uh, this is just one of the studies. I believe this was done by Dr. Basu, and this was published in the Journal of American College of Radiology. And this is an original article about low dose CT. Um, so, and then we have another, uh, it's like an educational poster presentation, also by Dr. Uh, Basu. And this educational exhibit was about the acute traumatic hip pain in the elderly. And, uh, and this was in the ER, uh, ER setting. Okay, so that was about the radiology residency. I hope that piqued your interest. And if you have any further questions, you can always contact us. Thank you.